Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back again, this time to import Rainbow Six Siege models into Blender 2.8. Again, 2.8 is important. It's the only way this is going to work. It's a lot easier than last time, though, so that's good. I'm going to delete everything in our scene and center our cursor to the world origin. And if you look down here, uh, you'll see objects 0 of 0, and that's important. So you want to make sure that everything is deleted. You have nothing here. If you go to File, Import, OBJ, and uh, we'll grab Mute here again, just like last time. If you look down here, we've got objects one of one. This is one object. And that won't work. So when you go to Import, you have to go to File, Import, OBJ, and you have to check this box that says Glit by Group. And then you can import your OBJ. Scale it down. And now if you notice, when I select everything, we have objects 9 of 9. So that's good. That means each one of these is ready to receive its own material. And we can build those a lot easier now. If you go to Edit Preferences, uh, Add-ons, and you add Node Wrangler, Type node in the search box, it'll pop up. Click the little checkbox, click your hamburger menu, and do save preferences. That will allow you to do this, which helps us easily build the materials. We go to shading, and I'm just going to duplicate these until I've got about nine of them. And we'll do the legs first. So I right click on the legs, click on the principal BSDF shader that is loaded by default now when you make a new material. New control shift T. And all we have to do is select the three materials that make up the BSDF, which is the um, this is legs, or pants in this case, the diffuse, the normal, and the specular. You hold shift to select those, and then uh, click principal texture setup right here. And there. That easy. You've got the pants done. We'll name it pants. And the two sliders you really need to worry about to make it look perfect is uh, the roughness here. If you notice with too little roughness, it looks wet, shinier, yeah, shiny. So you want to turn that the roughness up until uh, that looks correct. And then the normal strength here, same thing. Too much, it looks wet. Too little, and it looks flat. So you want to give it just a little bit there you go so we've named that pants now when I went to file import I mean uh, when I did the control shift T here we need to see what the rest of these are real quick so we've got accessories badges gloves headgear so I'm just gonna click a blank blank one a new I'm just gonna click one of these objects here to get it off of the pants so I don't change the material so I'll just select this one and I'll start naming these accessory headgear gloves um, or so um, what else was there badges and straps badges and straps so then we'll just uh, fill these in we'll click the straps here we'll change that material to straps We'll do Control Shift T. 
extracts, diffuse, normal, and specular. This is accessories. We'll change that to accessories. Control Shift T. Diffuse, normal, and specular. This is torso. Change it to torso. Control Shift T. Oh, it's vest here, by the way. Diffuse, normal, and specular. This is gloves, which it's his arms, but it's called gloves in the file. Diffuse, normal, and specular. And these are gloves as well. Gloves. This is headgear. Control Shift T. Diffuse, normal, and specular. And we're going to make a new material for the visor, the glass here. So I'm going to go change this to one of these blank ones. Call it visor. And all we really need to do is change the color down to almost black. And uh, we're going to change this roughness. If you remember, it looks uh, wet or shiny if there's none. So we should turn that down to give it that shiny look. And then I'm just going to go through and adjust the, the roughness on these parts. And that's it. Even easier than last time, right?